So patients with aggressive lymphomas, when it invades the central nervous system, have a very poor prognosis. In fact, the only effective therapy has been to give really high doses of chemotherapy to try to cure those patients. Uh, that's not a therapy that's available to most patients, particularly those that are older and these types of things. We've known for a while that medicines like abrutinib get into the central nervous system, but it's been studied mostly in patients with primary central nervous system. So what we were doing in this study was testing a regimen that's built upon abrutinib, but also other chemotherapy agents that are not high-dose methotrexate and do actually get in the central nervous system. So we've previously shown that that's active in primary central nervous system, and here we show that it's also effective in secondary CNS lymphoma. What we're showing is that patients that have relapsed after standard therapy have a cure rate or a durable remission rate of around one-third of patients. And in some subsets that respond to abrutinib, it's as high as 50%. So we think that this is a potential way to actually improve our ability to take care of these patients and may even be a curable option in and of itself without the need for high doses of chemotherapy.